What's going on? YouTube, listen up, young elder gang. This is Dr. Charles P. Winston at you with another banger. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. Fam, I hope this video get at least 100,000 likes. In this video, you will find history definitions, scripture information, and best of all, what we Americans have been deprived of from the beginning, the truth. Keep in mind, this content used in this video is intended for entertainment, educational and informational purposes only. We will give you the total truth as we best overstand it. Today, be sure to hit that like button, young elder gang. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit that bell and don't forget to check back with us every day for new content. Deep within each of us lies a story far older than any city civilization or even the earliest known species, a tale that has been carefully written letter by letter in the very code of our DNA. This story is not just about survival, but about the incredible journey of humanity itself, stretching back through countless generations and unimaginable epochs. For millions of years, our ancestors roamed the wild landscapes of Africa, adapting to ever-changing environments, learning to use tools, and forming the first bonds of family and community. They faced predators, hunger, and the relentless forces of nature. Yet, through all these challenges, they endured. But there was one chapter in this epic saga that nearly brought our entire lineage to an end, a moment when the future of humanity hung by a thread. There was a time, long ago, when the fate of our species depended on a tiny, fragile population. Imagine a world where only a handful of families remained, isolated and vulnerable, their survival uncertain with every passing day. Picture yourself looking back nearly a million years to an Earth dominated by ice ages and shifting climates. Vast glaciers advanced and retreated, transforming lush forests into arid plains and deserts. The world was a place of extremes where survival required constant adaptation and resilience. Early humans in Africa faced a crisis so severe, so devastating, that it nearly wiped them out completely. Food was scarce, water even scarcer, and the climate was unforgiving. Only the strongest, most resourceful and most united could hope to endure. This catastrophic event, now known as the Great Genetic Bottleneck, remained hidden in our genes for thousands of generations. It was a secret locked away in our very cells, waiting to be discovered by the science of modern genetics. Only with the advent of advanced genetic research have we uncovered the evidence. At one point, our ancestors dwindled to just about 1,280 individuals. Imagine the entire human race reduced to a number smaller than a small village, Every one of us today descended from this tiny, resilient group for over 100,000 years. This small band of survivors clung to life, weathering unimaginable hardships. They endured droughts, storms, and the constant threat of extinction, yet they never gave up hope. Their perseverance became the foundation of our species. Every person alive today, no matter where they come from or what they look like, is a direct descendant of those ancient survivors. Their courage and determination live on in each of us, connecting us across continents and cultures. Their struggle is written in our blood, a silent victory against overwhelming odds, a testament to the power of unity and resilience. We carry their legacy in every cell, every heartbeat and every breath we take. This ancient story unites us all, reminding us that despite our differences, we are one human family. Our shared past is a powerful reminder of our interconnectedness and the strength we find in coming together. Our very existence is a living testament to resilience, hope and the enduring spirit of humanity. A story nearly a million years old, still unfolding with every new generation. To truly understand the incredible journey of our ancestors, we first need to grasp a concept called the genetic bottleneck. This idea is central to the story of human survival and evolution, and it helps explain why our species is the way it is today. Imagine a simple bottle filled with colourful beads. Each bead represents a different genetic trait. Some are common, others are rare, but together they create a vibrant tapestry of diversity. When the bottle is full, it symbolises a population rich in genetic variety. This diversity is crucial as it gives the species the flexibility to adapt to changing environments, resist diseases, and thrive in the face of challenges. 
but now picture tipping the bottle over so that only a handful of beads spill out. These few beads are all that remain to start a new population. The new group has just those traits, many unique colours or genetic variations are left behind and lost forever. This is the essence of a genetic bottleneck, a dramatic reduction in population size that slashes genetic diversity. With fewer genetic options, a species becomes more vulnerable. It's like having only a few tools in your toolbox when you need to fix something complicated. If disease strikes or the environment changes, there's less chance that someone in the group has the right genetic trait to survive. The cheetah is a striking modern example. Today, cheetahs are so genetically similar to one another that a single disease could threaten the entire species. Their lack of diversity is a direct result of a past bottleneck. Our own ancestors faced a similar crisis. Tens of thousands of years ago, early humans were pushed to the brink by harsh climates, dwindling resources and other dangers. The great genetic bottleneck wasn't just about a drop in numbers. It meant the loss of entire lineages, unique traits and genetic possibilities that will never return. The survivors, just a small group, carried only a fraction of the original diversity. Their descendants, including all of us today, inherited this limited genetic toolkit. This is why, despite our differences, humans are remarkably similar at the genetic level. The bottleneck shaped our DNA, leaving a permanent imprint on our species. Today, scientists use advanced technology to read these genetic scars. By analyzing ancient DNA and comparing it to modern genomes, they piece together the story of our survival and the challenges we overcame. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding how a handful of survivors managed to repopulate the world, carrying with them the hopes and the limitations of our species. The story of the genetic bottleneck is one of loss, resilience and the shared legacy that connects every human being on Earth. It's a powerful reminder of both our fragility and our strength. Ultimately, it's a sobering lesson in how close humanity came to vanishing and how the echoes of that ancient crisis still shape us today. Pause. 3S, for decades, our understanding of human history relied on what we could find in the ground, fossils, stone tools and scattered remnants. These discoveries offered tantalizing glimpses into our distant past, but they were always incomplete, leaving huge gaps in the story of where we came from and what we survived. The real breakthrough came when scientists learned to read the code of life itself, our DNA. This genetic material, passed down through generations, holds secrets that fossils alone could never reveal. By developing sophisticated computer models, researchers could sift through the DNA of thousands of people from around the world. They searched for patterns, clues hidden in our genes, that might point to dramatic events in our ancient history, like population crashes or migrations. When a population shrinks, suddenly it leaves a unique genetic signature a dramatic loss of diversity that can be detected even hundreds of thousands of years later. In 2023, a team of researchers made a stunning discovery. They found that about 930,000 years ago, the number of our human ancestors plummeted by nearly 99%. This catastrophic event nearly wiped out our species. For an astonishing 117,000 years, the entire breeding population of our ancestors was reduced to just about 1,280 individuals, scattered, vulnerable and clinging to survival. This genetic bottleneck matches a mysterious gap in the African fossil record. For a long stretch of time, there are very few fossils because there were so few people left to leave them behind. The convergence of genetic and fossil evidence now paints a vivid, sobering picture. Humanity teetering on the edge of extinction, surviving only by the slimmest of margins. Our DNA still carries the echo of this ancient crisis, a genetic memory of a time when our future was anything but certain. It's a story not written in stone, but inscribed in every cell of our bodies, a hidden chapter of survival, revealed at last by the science of genetics. Pause 3S. Imagine all your ancestors fitting into a single small village. For over 100,000 years, this was reality. Life was precarious. Small bands scattered across harsh landscapes rarely meeting others. Survival meant constant struggle for food and water. The loss of even one skilled individual could threaten the group. 
Cooperation and knowledge sharing became essential. These pressures likely forged stronger social bonds, traits that define us today. Living in isolation accelerated genetic drift, shaping who survived. Only the most adaptable and resourceful passed on their genes. This crucible shaped the ancestors of Homo sapiens, Neanderthals and Denisovans. Out of near extinction, a new kind of human began to emerge. The crisis wasn't sudden. It was a slow, relentless climate shift. Around a million years ago, ice ages became longer and harsher, transforming Africa. Lush landscapes turned to desert, lakes and rivers vanished. The food chain collapsed. Herbivores died or migrated, plants withered. Our ancestors were squeezed into shrinking pockets of survival. This great drying lasted over 100,000 years, relentlessly filtering out those who couldn't adapt. Only the most resourceful survived, passing through an environmental trial by fire. The great genetic bottleneck was the result of this prolonged, unforgiving climate crisis. Pause, 3S. The bottleneck reshaped the human family tree. The survivors became the common ancestors of Homo sapiens, Neanderthals and Denisovans. Before, the world was home to diverse human groups, but the bottleneck wiped the slate clean. As the climate stabilised, this group split. Some stayed in Africa, becoming us. Others migrated and evolved into Neanderthals and Denisovans. Our shared ancestry explains why we're so genetically similar yet distinct. Later, as Homo sapiens left Africa, they met and interbred with their cousins. Today, traces of Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA remain in many of us. The bottleneck is the root of our shared family story. Pause 3S. The Great Bottleneck wasn't our only brush with extinction. The Toba super eruption about 74,000 years ago may have caused another sharp population drop. Later, ice ages forced humans into isolated refuges, reducing diversity and shaping regional genetics. Even the rise of agriculture created bottlenecks. Powerful men fathered more children, narrowing Y-chromosome diversity. Each event left a mark, layering our genetic story with echoes of survival. Our genome is a record of repeated trials and resilience. Pause. Three S bottlenecks are tied to migration. When small groups break off to colonize new lands, they carry only a slice of the original diversity, a founder effect. This shaped not just humans, but animals like camels, whose migrations created new, less diverse populations. The ultimate human founder effect was the out of Africa migration. A few hundred people left Africa, carrying a tiny sample of its genetic richness. As they spread, each migration further reduced diversity. Today, non-African populations have less genetic variation, a direct result of these ancient journeys. Our genetic map is a reflection of migrations shaped by bottlenecks. Pause. 3S. The great bottleneck is more than history. It's a lesson in humility and unity. For over 100,000 years, our fate rested on a handful of survivors. This binds us all, erasing superficial divisions and reminding us we're one family. African populations like the San and TWA retain deep genetic diversity, offering a window into our lost heritage. Understanding bottlenecks helps us protect endangered species today. Shrinking populations lose vital diversity. Our own near extinction is a warning and a call to stewardship. The story of 1,280 survivors is one of hope and tenacity. Their struggle gave us existence. Their legacy is in our genes a reminder of our epic journey. By remembering, we honour our past and our responsibility to the future.